the NFL denied the Dallas Cowboys petition to add a small decal. Not that big. That big. That big. Uh, on their helmets this season to su- show support for law enforcement. It was, and you're seeing it on your screen right now, the arm-in-arm design was revealed in late J- July by, uh, by Dallas Police Chief David, Br- David Brown and Dallas Mayor Mike Rawlings and the family members of the five officers killed that walked arm-in-arm with the players at the team's pra- first practice. Remember that. NFL legend and former Dallas Cowboys running back Emmitt Smith says it's a shame the NFL didn't support the team's helmet decals honoring the five police officers slain during a sniper attack in downtown Dallas in July. Quote, everyone's lives definitely matter, but at the same time, we also understand through a statistical standpoint that there are deeper issues out there that the NFL can take leadership role and support the efforts for the, of the Dallas Cowboys trying to do the same thing for their city, end quote. That's what Emmett Smith said uh, to FoxBusiness.com. Uh, and he also continued to go on to say, just like we do things for cancer, this is an opportunity for the league to take a leadership role and not nece- ne- necessarily a political role, end quote. Now, Cowboys Executive Vice President Stephen Jones told the Dallas Morning News that, he, that the organiz- organization understood and respected the NFL's decision and said the team will be uh, still be allowed to wear the decals uh, during practices, that's fine, but it's the games that count, not not the practices. And uh, he also gave a statement. Stephen Jones said, "Quote: Everyone has to be uniformed with the league and the other 31 teams. We respect their decision. There are so many wonderful wonderful causes the league has to be careful. If you allow one, then you have to allow. Uh, you have to do about every team." Uh, Then what you do, uh, do about every team that has a great reason to do something um, on their helmets. Okay, that's good, right? Uh, The NFL has enforced a strict uniform policy for years. I mean, think you know a lot of people. You know, I I find it upsetting that the NFL didn't allow this for the Cowboys, but I also find this upsetting too. If you remember back. When uh, the request, they denied the request of Steelers running back D'Angelo Williams to wear pink gear all season uh, in honor of his mother who passed away from breast cancer. You know, we have that one month of breast cancer awareness, but he wanted to do it all year. And he also was, uh, and they denied it. And then he was fined for having a message, find the cure, printed on his eye black, ladies and gentlemen, during a game. That is ridiculous. And uh, uh, the Dallas Police Department, they said in a statement that the sentiment mattered more than the results. Uh, I just have a problem with this. I have a problem with this because it's what Emma Smith said. that the, This was an opportunity to the league to take a leadership role and not necessarily a political role. And they took the political role. Because they didn't want, you know, because already the argument is, well, if the Cowboys are allowed to have the arm in arm and it's support for law enforcement, does that mean that they approve of the actions of those few bad apples of the, what the police did to uh, to the victims that were shot and killed for honestly no reason? Then, you know, then there's that. And it's not supposed to be that. It's just support but it automatically it's and this is why the nfl denied it because they said well if we, we allow them to support law enforcement then the nfl is going to take the hate of well you don't care about black lives matter you don't care about this and that that's that's automatically what will happen guarantee that's why they said no to the the dallas cowboys is it fair absolutely not but is that how social media how society is right now that's how it is. And the NFL didn't want to take that because they know if they say no now, guess what? This is all going to die and die down and no one's going to care. No one's going to care. I I just I would have liked it to see that happen, to see the the cowboy dec- or the decal uh on the back of the helmet. It's small. It's not like it's a huge thing. It's literally that big. Uh and it would have been nice. It would have been nice. And again, it's not to say that 
law enforcement lives should be promoted and not others. Again, just like Emmett Smith, because his word is going to be more stronger than mine. People are going to take his, you know, side over mine, which is good because it's Emmett Smith. I, I, I take his over mine. Everyone's lives definitely matter. But at the same time, we also understand through a statistical standpoint, there are deeper issues out there that the NFL can take leadership role uh, and supports the effort of uh, the Dallas Cowboys trying to do something for their city. You know, good thing is the Cowboys can really put a banner or something or a presentation before every game, home game. They can do something uh, because it is their stadium. They can go ahead and do something like that. Uh, uniform thing, there's, there's not much you can do. But let me know in the comment section down below, do you believe the Cowboys should have been able to uh, have that arm-in-arms decal? Again, what you're seeing on your screen right up here. Should they have had it, uh, should the NFL have approved it, or do you think it was best that they did not? Let me know in the comment section down below. Also, tweet me at Short Sports Show. And keep it clean, guys. Keep it clean. Oh!